So this question says the PES, a Roman measure of length, is approximately equal to 11.65 inches. So I'm going to write that down. I'm going to treat this like a translate word problem question, which basically just means I don't want to keep reading. As soon as I see something quantitative, I want to write it down and translate its meaning. So here we go. PES, or however you pronounce it, doesn't really matter, is equal to 11.65 inches. Next sentence, it says, it is also equivalent to 16 smaller units or smaller Roman units called digits. So that means this is also equal to this, 16 digits. Which means, right, so if we read between the lines a little bit, um, this means that 16 digits is equal to 11.65 inches. And because that's a weird way of measurement, right? I want to know what one digit is equal to. So if I divide by 16 on both sides, I can take my calculator and I can give you the decimal for how these relate to each other. So 11.65 divided by 16. And I get that one digit is equal to 0 0.7. Let's call it three. I'll call it two eight, so I'm not rounding too much. 0 0.728 inches. Okay, so notice all of this that I did here without the question telling me. This is part of what's meant by this whole translation of the word problem. We want to we want to really extract all the information out that we can. So the next sentence says, based on these relationships, 75 Roman digits is equivalent to how many feet? To the nearest hundredth and again they tell us that 12 inches is equal to a foot in case you forgot so what we're really doing here is saying 75 digits to feet but i don't have digits to feet so i'm going to go digits to inches and then from there to feet so this becomes very useful now because i know that one digit is 0.728 so 78 digits, which or 75 digits, would just be 75 times 0 0.728. And what I get by doing that in my calculator, let's type that in, 75 times 0 0.728, I get 54.6 inches. And then I can do, I can use this conversion factor where I know that 12 inches, right? Now I put this here purposely so that the units can cross out. Instead of putting 12 inches on top and one foot on bottom, I put 12 inches on bottom and one foot on top so that these units can cross cancel, leaving me to take this 54.6 and divide it by 12 because it's on the bottom of that fraction. So 54.6 divided by 12 in my calculator, I get 4.55 feet. And the question wants me to round to the nearest hundredth, which is here. Um, good question, though. I don't know what comes after this, so maybe I should re-take a look at this by maybe not rounding this one too much. So let me just go back. 11.65 divided by 16 is actually 0 0.728125. Let's see what that changes that into so times 75 is 54.609375 and then that all divided by 12 so that divided by 12 is 4.5507 so we're safe right so this 5 is still going to stay the same so your answer should be 4.55 here